What is up, my beautiful budgeting family? Welcome back to another cash envelope stuffing here on my little baby YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and deciding to spend a little bit of time with me. Today we're gonna be cash stuffing $415. A few will go, a little bit will go into our savings envelopes, but most of it is gonna go into my wallet for our weekly expenses. So if you like content like this, consider subscribing. It's completely free. Hit that subscribe button down below. And if you are a returning subscriber of mine, you already know. Hey boo, thank you so much for being back, babe. You are greatly appreciated. So let's go ahead and stuff this cash, you guys. All right, friends, so the money is set up and I finally found my wallet coin purse. I did not find, could not find it last week for last week's video and yeah. So luckily she is back and doing her thing, collecting this change that we know accumulates. I've been thinking about getting a bigger change jar, but then I'm like, no. Every time I filled this up so far, it's been at least $50, which I think is pretty good. So yeah, we are almost halfway again so that's awesome so let's go ahead and jump right into my wallet <laughs> y'all know i gotta use a binder for the time being until i get a new purse um so yes um this is gonna be my cash that i'm rolling over from the week every time i break a bill try to save the change i have tapped into this money a little bit because one like if we when we go out to eat leaving a tip um Stuff like that. My son needs five bucks random here and there, whatever. So we don't have as much as we usually do, but I'm gonna set this to the side and we're just gonna go ahead and move on. Um, we'll count that in just a bit. So spending this week, you guys, is gonna get $60. So 20, 40, 60. How did you guys do with spending last week? I did not post a weekly check-in. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Didn't post a weekly check-in yesterday. I should have, but my hubby took, took the day off, so I did not record. One, I get nervous when he's home. I don't want to record because I'm like a little bit embarrassed. Uh, two, oh, my son just got home from school. Um, anyway, so two, I we just didn't have time. We just hung out, so I was like, I'll just do my wallet stuffing today and then do my check-in later, so that video will be coming up soon. All right, so moving on, household is going to get $20 this week. We did buy quite a bit of household stuff, but I do need to stock up on toilet paper. So we have 20, 1, 2, 3, 24, 25 in household. I, t I like to go to Family Dollar, and they have a huge pack of toilet paper. It's $10.00 uh 10 or 11 dollars um usually but it's like 30 rolls i believe and the the toilet paper itself is like good toilet paper it's not like that cheapy thin kind so if you have a family dollar near you and you're on a budget or you like to save when it comes to toiletries and stuff go ahead and check out family dollar 10 bucks gets you a huge amount of tp so yeah that's my little tip so anyways i do got to get some of that and some paper towels so that's household gas money's gonna get its usual 40 bucks 2040 out to eat we're gonna do $60 last week y'all saw me put in only 20 that is not gonna happen again we did so good you guys we did not go out to eat and then of course here comes Sunday and we're like lazy and just watching football all day and it's like all right let's go grab some pizza or like you know whatever so that kind of the 20 kind of went out the door and then yesterday my husband wanted to try a catfish place that he's been wanting to try but because of his work schedule we haven't been able to go so we went and did that too so there's that uh so out to eat we'll get 20 40 60 dollars this week i was so excited i'm like yes we're gonna actually make this 20 bucks last and nope <laughs> but that's life so groceries, we do still have money left over. Oop. So let me just, we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 left over in groceries. 
So that will also get added to our rollover. And groceries is going to get 150 So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, and 50. 20, 40, 60, 80. How is y'all's grocery budget, you guys? This 150 has been doing pretty good. Some weeks it doesn't, but most of the time it has been doing good. So definitely better than only stuffing 100. What do you guys usually budget for groceries throughout the week? Drop that in the comments down below. I would love to see and compare. I feel like groceries, it's been steady lately. For a while, it feels like everything got higher, but it, it's not as bad now. Um, so, oh shit, it's actually not going to get stuffed this week. And I still have those two fives in there, so that stays in there for those oh crap moments. So that is it for my binder slash wallet. And we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, oop, 23, 24, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 dollars. Did I count that right? I think so. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 32, 33, 34, 35. 35 exactly. So that is awesome. So moving into our little savings binder. Y'all know I'm going to keep the ones for my $1 savings, which I started last week. I want to see how many ones I can accumulate before the end of, by the end of the year. So going into the new year. Once this gets full, which it's already getting full, I'm just going to move it into a big pickle jar that I have. Um, so yeah, Caleb's savings this week is going to get $20. So Caleb has 20, 40, 60, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86 dollars, 1,086 dollars, sorry. I don't know why I didn't count the 1k slip in there. And those of you that are new know this is not real, this is a, um, a fake bill that's why it's decorated but this is just a placeholder so that I don't have a thousand dollars in the envelope it's just so I can have the thousand in the bank and then just be able to keep stuffing it so just a placeholder you guys that's not real and then a dream home this week is only gonna get twenty dollars so dream home now has twenty forty and sixty And then new car, we'll get these $45 here. So 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 45. And we just started this one last week as well, along with Dream Home. Um, so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 145 for new car. I would love to get this to 3k so hopefully we can do that before I tap into it and then these fives are gonna actually get put into my debt snowball if y'all watched my weekly check-ins before y'all know I'm trying to tackle um, our payment our payment for our furniture so 5 10 15 20 $25 is going into debt snowball that payment is due this month um, I think on the 26 so I'm going to put this right along with that uh, regular payment. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 118 will be an extra payment towards that debt because that interest is crazy. So yeah. And that concludes my video for today, you guys. I hope y'all are doing well. I hope this video finds y'all well. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, commenting, liking. Everything that y'all do, all the interactions that I get from you guys, those of you that follow me on Instagram, thank y'all. Y'all are so appreciated. Um, and yeah, don't forget, you are loved, you matter, you're special, you're amazing, you're important. Don't forget that. Y'all know. Bye.